Greetings YouTube and welcome to another multiplayer battle. It's two versus two. The map is Syrian Reeds. It's between <coughs> me and my friends. Here it's me. I'm playing as Prosha. I'm gonna be on the right side of the map. Here's uh, Larinium. He's gonna be my left wing and he's gonna play as Ottoman Empire. Here we have uh, Michael Fomelas. He's gonna play as Austria. And here we have uh, Sir Craig, and he's gonna play also as Ottoman Empire. Yes, and he's gonna be opposite to me. Let's see the builds. Uh, we have uh, what's this? Uh, Mountain Nizams and Silahta Guards. We have four foot infantry units there. One uh, Mountain Nizams, Mehmed Ali, historical general. Another two foot infantry. We got one Samad Janissaries. And what's this foot infantry behind them? We have one rifle unit and two light infantry up in the reeds, short calf. And Malas, he has um, what he has Joseph Avalvinci, he has Ulands Cuirassiers, Ulands, and uh, Hungarian Fusiliers, German Fusiliers, and other Cuirassiers over there. He got uh, Hungarian Fusiliers and German Fusiliers. He have uh, he has three light infantry Grenzers on his right wing. Hungarian Fusiliers, two of them, three, four, five. Ulans, another cuirassier unit, and that's it. What we have? Okay, we have one foot infantry and three basi bas zooks with three experience here. We have one rifle unit and one light infantry behind them. One foot infantry to cover those two light infantry units from uh, enemy cavalry. We have another two basi bazooks with three experience. We have some forces over near to the small uh, reeds uh, light infantry there. Two, three foot infantry in two. Shooter Cav, we have uh, Shilakta Guards, two of them, and another foot infantry over there. This is me, I have uh, Lancers, two of them, three, three Lancers, one Militia and two Musketeers. I have uh, the Ethlef Regiment here and a foot guard unit. I have a Militia there. Musketeers, foot cards, my general staff close to my men, one lancer unit there. I have three light infantry. Mm, no, so yeah, three, three light infantry here. I have uh, foot cards, musketeers, Tarawskis, and lancer unit to reinforce to my flank. So I think we are going to watch a good game. Actually, it was a good game, that's why I'm going to upload it, and I want to share this game with you guys. Let's see what we have. We have some Hungarian fusiliers there. Probably Malas is trying to protect the circle light infantry units, and uh, he saw that I don't have any light infantry units here, so he can't uh, use he can't use his uh, Hungarians over there. Okay, Laurinium, he will try probably to shoot that uh, Ugarans from the side. But I think these guys are out of range. And think, uh, okay, nothing, nothing. Okay, I'm gonna cut here. And I'm gonna cut you later when the fight starts. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna tell you something that we are making a defense life here we have our flanks uh, advanced but our center is uh, back here because that because our enemies managed to take the the raids um, we, we didn't send our cavalry to to fight for the raids because you no know, it was risky because I have lancers and maybe I couldn't get my cover uh, up in time in the read so I might have to lose my my advance with my charge so 
I decided not to sacrifice my my cavalry and make a, a good defense perimeter over here. Okay, our opponents are pushing here, so no need to cut. Good news for me. They're gonna charge here. They're gonna send one uh, shooter cuff over to Larinium's uh, foot infantry. Larinium is gonna form square, but I think um, who did that? Scrook did the mistake because these guys they charged so this uh, infantry they did form the square but he has his unit here shooting to this uh, foot infantry square so here i'm gonna push my militia and my land my musketeers versus the Sungarians. um larinum is gonna use his uh, silactor gods he tried to take them here just in case uh, the Sungarians would form square but they didn't so I'm shooting these guys with my musketeers. So th these Ungarians did actually they shot the land over first. So my musketeers are they didn't took any shots. Uh, so Larinum he's he's trying to reinform his lines here, and he's going to use his light infantry versus the forces over the ridge. Here I'm trying to to push Sir Crook forces with my light infantry. I have my militia here. They are taking uh, shots by these guys, I think, or not. So here I tried to shoot. Yes, I shot. I give. I gave some shots to this uh, Nizam foot infantry from the side. That was a good shot from my prison light infantry. And uh, let's see here what's going on. Actually, Melas he has a good uh, position here. He's already in the reeds and probably he has his units in off fire at will mode. Otherwise, uh, these guys, we will see them uh, shooting these guys, but uh, they're not. So, Melas also has his uh, Ulans here, and one Corsairs, uh, because we have swords. And here he will try to send, he's trying to shoot this uh, Turkish uh, unit from the side with his Grangers. But Larinum is going to send his rifles out of there so he can. Uh, um, stop these guys from uh, shooting uh, our units from the side. Though that was sh uh, shot wasn't uh, good because we lost only one man, two from an entire volley of that Granger unit. So I think here the the there must be a hidden unit from uh, over here from uh, Sukwak. Yes, he had some unit. He has um, some units hidden, um, but I'm not sure if uh, he's in this forest or this forest because when the game started, I saw one unit moving around here, so probably there is a hidden unit. We're going to see later about this. Let's see what's going on. Nothing serious so far. We are both of our uh, both of our of the armies has a very good uh, position. Probably this unit is uh, out of. Uh, it's hidden. Let's see. No, it's not. And let's see. Yes, I think Larinum he deployed his stakes here very bad because I think a good position to deploy stakes is uh, like this. What we have, we have, uh, oh, the enemy rifles are shooting to our units, but let's see our line of sight. Not bad, not bad. So Laroon is going to send his uh, rifles here to to confront these uh, enemy rifles. Though, we have some Granger here from uh, Malasites, he's going to try to push these uh, units. So Larinum is going to take back his units out of here and you see he's going to cover them behind this uh, small terrain anomaly so he can minimize his uh, losses. Though I thought it was a good time for me to charge my Ulans but here I'm charging but I did a fatal mistake. 
I had the second thought and I stopped my lances from charging these guys. I thought I couldn't um, get them, but it was a bad mistake from my part because th these guys, I gave the opportunity to them to shoot them and actually my my charge wasn't good. You see, I, I killed only four men. It's a very bad attack for my guys. Actually, it was because I hesitated to to make a full charge that's why that my my attack was so bad <coughs> okay that was a good lesson for me when you're going to attack uh, do with uh, be determined to make a good charge no ma no matter what don't stop especially when you're very close to the enemy units units so and they can uh, give you a good uh, amount of volley so what the hell give the try don't stop that was a stupid mistake from my part okay let's see what's going on oh our opponents are concentrating uh, cavalry here on the right side you see Lauren we has has a not that strong of a flank because he has only one uh, unit here and uh, Sir Crook is going to send his uh, <coughs> his uh, Nizams from this side. So these guys, this uh, foot infantry from uh, Larinium side, it's an easy target. For for example, if he if he will send two of his uh, shooter calf and his um, selector guards, he can take out this uh, Nizam foot infantry easily. But the thing th that they don't know is that we have a small garrison of the... Okay, we have one light infantry, one shooter calf and one foot infantry. Though they are not uh, too close to that unit to support, they are not far away. Actually, if Lowry can use his shooter calf uh, smarter, then he can uh, give uh, real damage to these uh, units. But he will take for the right time. He will wait for the right time. Let's see. Okay, we have some engagement here. Meanwhile, all this time I took one of my light infantry from the left side and I brought them here. I'll try to help my Larinum from uh, this uh, light infantry unit. You see, Larinum is taking losses from this unit. He he didn't uh, show that uh, uh, Mela is shooting his unit with his uh, grenades. But here, oops, sorry about this. What Melas is going to do, he's going to deploy his uh, Granges over here. He will try to to make me to make me pick th that unit as a target, but I'm going I'm going to target these guys. Yeah, you see the red line. Also, I'm going to advance my musketeers just to, to give a shot to this uh, Granges, but I wasn't fast. But my Prussian fusiliers are doing a hell of a good, good job there. You see these grenades that dropped to 65 men. That was a great volley for my Prussian light infantry. And also, I got a good line of sight. While uh, that unit of grenades, the half of the unit, they are shooting the the hill. But I'm targeting the, the unit above that, the first unit. So I have a very good line of sight. You see. By the way, I think I took only three light infantry units and not five. Oh, there they are. Here's the hidden unit of Sir Craig. I was slowly moving my, what's this, uh, Lancers unit over here. So eventually I can make a surprise attack to this unit, but uh, suddenly I saw that uh, <laughs> that dude and now I'm going to send my two baskets to help them to eliminate this mountain uh, unit. So I'm losing morale. There's another mountain is over there hidden, but I have my musketeers and my foot guards. Another foot guard unit. I will try to to take down this unit. So I won the fight, the cavalry fight. Uh, Quick has two units here hidden, but I'm gonna send musketeers and foot guards. That's a good firepower, and also I'm gonna use my lancers for this mountain nizams. But the problem is that if these guys uh, will stay there. 
then my charge bonus won't be good against the in, inside the trees so i'm gonna reinforce my attack here i got uh, i will show one light infantry i got wood guards and one musketeers i'm gonna send another lancer unit here to help my 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 guys and i will try to send my car from the rear though you can see back there that the, this electric guard they are targeting my left infantry but i have uh, units behind them to cover them and here i'm losing time to deploy my units what is going on yeah i would try to take this mountain out of the game yep they're losing morale you see but uh, there is uh, the reinforcements another 20 nizams from the other side will i phone square man square four square 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 no square i missed the square that bad news for me but i did i did the uh, square on the other side i'm trying to hold these guys The good thing is that I killed these uh, 20 uh, Nizams, mountain Nizams, but my light infantry, you see, I made an, uh, a big mistake. Probably there are three units shooting to my guys here, and I lost my light infantry, and also my guards are taking losses. Here, I turn my Prussian light infantry to shoot this uh, light infantry from, from the side, but now, you see, there is a massive cavalry reinforcement coming here to the right side. There is Udons from uh, Melas and Kuras here is a mountain Nizam there. And here I will try to stop these uh, mountain Nizams from uh, trying to get the round for around from over here and, uh, and surround me. So I have no other choice. I'm, I'm outnumbered here. I did the bad use from, cav from my cavalry and I have to retreat. I will form square here with my foot coats and I'm trying to to take down this mountain his arms. But the problem is that uh, now Craig is gonna get his uh, foot infantry out of here. He's gonna shoot my square. So I have to go sacrifice my lancers. I'm gonna send them um, maybe here or here so to prevent them from shooting my foot coats. I did a charge here to this mountain Zams. And now I'm gonna try to take them over here and I'm gonna make a second round of charge. You know, my Lancers has only a good charge, not in uh, the can stand in a melee fight, but Turkrox is gonna send another Silachtar guard here and probably my guys you now they're in a big trouble. I will form two square here to defend from my um Malase Ulans. Did I? Uh, I think I have problem here. Yeah, I formed the th uh, a third square, and here Laurinum has sent his uh, Silachtar to help me. While I am squares now, this uh, three foot infantry units gonna press. I'm gonna shoot my squares. I have to retreat and fast if I want to keep my right flank alive. I lost my other cap here over there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull uh, forces out of my center I, I will try to reinforce my right flank and Larinium is uh, here to me, near to me. He, he's trying to, do, to help me defend from uh, the advancing Ottoman uh, flank. I will form square here to defend from this mountain arms. I did it the last moment and I will try to save my musketeers that are taking shots from uh, three units. Actually, uh, they're pressing my lines pretty hard though so i'm trying to to save my lines and at the same moment trying to take their calf and here is that um, my lands my Tarraskis, they came back into the game and i will try to make a rear charge to this uh, unit yep 
crack lost that square that's good news for me and now I'm gonna advance my my food cards versus them and I will try to shoot them at the same time I will send my Trovaskis to charge over there I think my food guys can take them out yes they did and now I'm gonna push back again I'm not sure who is that uh, Shilaksa guard, maybe it's a... Uh, yeah, it's a uh, Crux probably. Okay, I have the help of Lorinum, he sent one of his mountain zombies here, and now I'm gonna push versus these units. I lost my Trubaskis, they're out of the game, but I still got uh, good firepower here, I got food cards and musketeers, and I have 54 food cards over there. So... Uh, Melas and uh, Crack, they are keeping, keep feeding their flank with cavalry units. They have plenty of them, and also there is a what's this German fusiliers? Yeah, German fusiliers from um, from uh, Mela side. Also, we have a fight here on the center. Shows are coming. And what I have, I have foot cuts here, but I will charge my militia here to stop them. I have uh, Unans that are coming here to charge my guys. I will form square with my with my guys. I show a boost morale. Yeah, it's from my general. There, there he is. Uh, I need boost morale here, and at the same time, I will pull out my right flank because there is a big pressure here on the center. I will charge my lancers. My target is this light infantry. I want to make them stop from pro shooting my guys. And I have my 8th life regiment here shooting to this uh, swords. At the same time, I'm gonna turn my food guards to shoot this Ulans from the side and I will try to save my Prussian light infantry. The good thing is that my men they are holding because of the boost morale and I uh, still got some elite unit there. And here I will try to push my center versus the Ottoman center. We have my I have my lone bar, militia there, musketeer light infantry. I will try to shoot these units and but there is a problem from uh, my part here. My foot guards are dropped to 48 men. They can't form square, but here I I'm gonna use my lancers to make a rear charge to these units. I'm gonna try to save these uh, two units because they are very important to me. If I lose them, then I will, uh, I will have a huge gap between my lines and is this is something that I can't afford okay I have my 8th left regiment shooting this to this Shamad Janissaries Larinum he will try to reinforce my my units I will form square because I have two units here they're going to charge directly to my 8th left regiment the good thing is that the, um, maybe Melas he will kill some of his Shamad Janissaries by charging to this uh, 8th left regiment uh, square we have defense there, and here alone he will try to shoot the the Austrian general. Also, Larinum he's committing his charge over here. He's gonna send his swords while we are approaching from uh, from the center and over here. Our target is to kill these units while our opponents are attacking over here. Though, there is a problem because uh, my unit is out of uh, square formation. I'm not sure why my, these guys they managed to broke my, um, excuse me, my my square. And the problem is that uh, these guys of mine they can't form square, and there is some cursiers here. So Larinum he's gonna counter charge his horses versus these units. He will try to stop them from uh, killing my own man. And at the same time, he's pushing hard his uh, the Basi Bazooks versus these uh, Austrian units. What we have, musketeers and light infantry units there. I'm not sure who is who here. Probably this is a uh, Lorinum's unit or not. Yeah, probably it's Lorinum units. 
Okay, I'm still holding here, but during all that fight, I did a mistake. You, you see my lancers here, they are taking shots from these dudes, and they dropped to 22 men now, they're gonna break. Uh, I didn't show that, and maybe I'm shooting at them with my foot cards, because if these guys are in rage, they're gonna shoot. I'm trying to hold my, my lines over here, and at the same time, I will try to save my 8th life regiment from these uh, troops, though our center is collapsing. Now, Crack and uh, Melas. They are going to split our army in two. Yes, big problem for Mars. And what's going on? Yes. Okay, Larinium. He made the good charge here to this Ottoman um, Nizam. And uh, but here is a problem. No, you see the Silakta guards, they are coming, and I can't form square. So, this unit uh, is a dead meat, and also, I don't have any units behind them to cover them. So, Larim he's gonna sell his bus, bazooks versus this Ottoman troops. But we lost our shooter cav over there, and we're trying to use our second shooter cav here to nail this light infantry from Malas. We'll try to give them some kind of uh, damage while here. <laughs> I realized that I still got uh, this uh, Lancer unit up there. I was. Uh <laughs> I noticed that I was taking shots from them. <laughs> from the ground. From the foot infantry of uh, Shekrak. And now I'm gonna use them here and I will try to reinforce our center. On the other side, quiet. The big fight is here, actually. And what we have? Actually, I am outnumbered, and the bad news is that uh, my connection to me and Larinum is uh, cut off by it, uh, the opponent's forces. I can't uh, really reinforce him, and he can't reinforce me uh, also. So I have. The only option that I have is to defend here and try to to give uh, as many casualties as I can to Shekrak. I will send my lancers, but these guys they can't form square, and I will try to shoot them with my eighth left regiment. Bye bye Lancers, but I still got my units here, but they can't form square though. These guys are easy target now from, uh, for this Silactor Gods. I will use my second boost of our morale for my general. And I will try to <laughs> to to kill the Silactors. So I'm going to pull out one of my food cards from the right flank. And I will try to reinforce my, my formation over here. I will pull out my general to save him. And actually, my target is the uh, selector guards. Yes, I want to take them out. No, I am I am doomed. I can't hold versus uh, Ocean and Ottomans, but I will try to kill as many as I can, so I can give some possibilities to my teammate Larinium to to win the game. And it's very important, I think, to kill the enemy cav. So Kirk, he he can't uh, use it in uh, uh, later to help Melas. So, Crack managed to save some of his men, 30 in the number, so I will pull out my two remaining units here and I will try to make a defense uh, line around here inside the trees. So here I'm trying to use my musketeer to kill this uh, Nizam foot infantry, but I'm taking shots from the other side. Though, these musketeers they are shooting these German fusiliers. So, I lost the fight here and I'm screwed up because I'm surrounded. You see, all Ottoman units they are coming here. I have my general staff alive and one uh, foot guards, but I am outnumbered. I got three units versus five. Also, I'm gonna get charged by this selector guards. I'm gonna form square, but no, I can't now. They dropped to 34 men, though I'm taking uh, heavy casualties. 
and I think I'm gonna you know, use the formation ability here yes I will try to kill this uh, Siloctar so I'm gonna charge my general stuff versus this unit they can't form square and maybe I can kill them and here's my general's death he's gonna die as a man <laughs> Okay, my musketeers are out of the game, and impressive, the Selector Guard are still alive. Six men, and they're still here, impressive. I think that's because Mehmed Ali is nearby. So, oh, there's uh, one unit from my part, there's back there, they came back, so I'm going to reinforce with, uh, with that unit, Laurinium forces. So, I'm going to fast forward, and I'm going to catch you later. So Larin, he's trying to take over the reeds, he's gonna send his basi bazooks and he got his uh, musketeers over there, but um, Mela still got uh, some corsairs. Also, he's using his uh, light infantry, one musketeer over there. I will place my musketeers behind them as a second line so I can cover him from uh, the enemy cavalry attacks. Quite on the other side. Uh, Larinum used his reinforcements, they are all in the game. So, actually, uh, we are surrounded now. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward. Light infantry, that light infantry was taking shots from this Hungarian Fusiliers from the ridge. But there they are, they're coming. I'm not sure if this unit has any ammunition. Probably, yeah, crack is we're gonna use them as a mid shield. No, they do have ammunition, but learning his, uh, his light infantry now is within the range of these units and he's gonna get shot while our musketeers, they are not, they're not shooting back. So Malak is gonna fill the line here with two of his uh, German fusiliers and he's gonna keep his Hungarian uh, as a rear unit, as a reinforcement. Also he got his Granger, one Granger unit over there. And we are outnumbered, there are two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven units with including the generals versus four, five here and potentially six. So we are outnumbered. So the only thing that Larium can do is uh, a <laughs> kind of kite. Bad news also, there are some courses over there, they're going to charge. If they're going to charge, that will give time to the other units to shoot our squares, if we are going to make squares. And here, that unit of mine, they can't form square. So it's an easy target for the enemy units. And here, Melas is going to advance his uh, guardians from the reeds so he can be close to his units there is a problem here, I think Craig uh, didn't show that he's charging his uh, Mehmed he's out I lost my musketeers, they're out of the game so I'm completely out of the game excuse me but the enemy lines they are still advancing they have power, firepower and they got corsairs there that's a real problem for us because these guys now can uh, really destroy our lines. So the only thing that they, ca they can do is uh, shoot our squares. But we have a boost morale from Ahmed al Jizor. He's gonna keep uh, his morale men high for some moments. And also Lorin is gonna try to use his Basi Bazooks versus these uh, Austrian lines. We're still in square here. These squares here they are refusing to die. And they're still uh, making problems through lines. And... Uh, 
But the good thing is that these guys, the German Fusiliers, they are not the best in the in the game. So we have another boost morale from Joseph Albinci. So Melas is gonna pull his uh, lines out of there. Actually, Crick is out of the game also. Maybe he has a unit here. Yeah, he Tooks, they're fighting Tooks in melee. I think the enemy Turks are losing, yes, because they are cut off from the main code of the army and that will uh, cause them a b morale issue. Also, the general is dead and Larim is going to use his general staff to charge uh, these guys from the side. But he will take them back as fast as uh, as possible because he doesn't want to get shot from the enemy lines. So actually here that attack uh, wasn't so bad for us because uh, Larim he managed to hold his lines. He didn't suffer many casualties while we managed to kill uh, all Krek's forces and some of my some troops of um, uh, Melas. And another good thing for us is that th this unit, the Grangers, they are very tired. No, just tired. Soon they're gonna be very tired, and that will cause them their fighting ability is going to drop. So you can see from Brack there that uh, Larinum he's reinforcing his uh, lines with the one light infantry. I think Melas doesn't have light infantry on the other side. While we got here one and we got uh, two lines. Actually, our f differences uh, they're not so strong because we are outnumbered. And now Melas he can use his uh, forces up here to double team to this uh, light infantry. Though we got range. We are outnumbered to two one. Do we have buses? Yeah, we have buses. Buses are going to come here and trying to reinforce our left flank. Any unit? No. That's the way we are now. Okay, I'm going to fast forward. So Melas he is going to push his two units versus a light infantry and what's going to happen? Larin he's gonna take them back. But Melas is going to keep uh, pushing at uh, this light infantry. He's gonna send his general, Larinum, close to his men for morale. But I think it's a good time to send his bus bazooks versus this uh, Ungar Fusiliers. I'm not sure if these bus bazooks are capable to win in melee the Ungarians because this guy has a uh, very good defense. But are they tired? No, they're fresh. These guys are wounded. And let's see something here. Yes. All of the shots they're gonna hit the ground here. So I think it's very good for Laurinum to use his light infantry to shoot here and not here. But hitting his uh, Nizams over there and he's shooting these uh, Ungarians. And at the same time, he's gonna send his Bas to shoot uh, to charge these Ungarians. They're gonna form square and that will make them busy fighting this uh, Basa Bazooks while Larin is going to use his light infantry to shoot this Hungarian Fusiliers but Malas is going to advance his two Hungarians from the ridge but I'm not sure let's see what he's going to shoot at yeah he has to advance a little bit he has some good line of sight but uh, Larinum has a good defensive position over there so these guys are losing morale because uh, they are getting shot by two units and these guys here, they're losing morale, you see. 
the general is uh, on the other side while Larium he still got his troops over there but he's gonna get charged by these Ungarians here attacked in the rear that was a good move from Elas another good move is that he managed to kill these uh, Ungarians and now he's gonna take them back he's gonna use his Latif on tree to shoot that uh, Ungarians and there is a melee fight here between the Ottomans and the Ungarians Ungarians are pretty good in a melee fight and here is Joseph Alvinci here is bad news for Lorino the Kuarsiers from the other side they are here now and they are going to reinforce uh, Melas attack so Melas is going uh, to pull back maybe he's going to use his bus bazooks versus this uh, Ungarian fusiliers I think it, it would be a wide choice to keep them alive for for a bit yes they are getting shot I'm not sure if they are going to make the charge and if they do they are less than 15-20 people and they won't be able to do real damage to them so Malas win the fight here and yep he's shooting there oh Larim he's trying to shoot Joseph Alvinci he may be lucky and kill uh, jo Joseph if he does that then he will have many possibilities to win the game also here we have a reinforcement unit from uh, Larinium. He's going to use them to try to hold hit the advancing Austrian uh, flank. But here th he's going to get charged by this um, Kurskers versus uh, the Light Infantry. The Light Infantry is out of the game. And Larinium here, he will send his uh, Ahmed. He will try to kill Joseph. Yeah, Ahmed versus Joseph. Uh, Melas, he will form squares here. And he will send his course here to deal with Ahmed. I think Ahmed is gonna die. Yeah, five men, low morale, he's gonna root. Yeah, bye bye Ahmed. Joseph is still alive and he's ruling the game. <laughs> okay, Melas here managed to take the our defensive positions. He throw us back and now Clarinium is uh probably surround it yeah he's gonna make a defense line up there but he's using his light infantry here to shoot these grangers maybe these grangers they're out of ammo and also they are very tired you can see uh, also they're losing more I don't think that they will lost uh, long here okay I'm going to advance 45 minutes so far Some nice shots from the Granger from the side. We managed to kill uh, Lavrin, we managed to kill these Guardian Fusiliers. Now that we have two units versus two. And. And uh, Melassi will try to approach this side with uh, Germans and uh, Germans and Guardian Fusiliers. He got also his Grangers up there. I'm not sure how many ammunition Lavrin has. Okay, fast forward again. So you see that uh, there is a moral affection from uh, because the general fl fled the field. But these guys are losing morale, you show pretty fast. Larinum is going to charge his depleted uh, Nizams versus these guys. He did what? Uh, watch out this uh, <laughs> this flank. Mela's troops they broke too easily. I think this uh, German fusiliers they suck in morale. They don't have a uh, good morale. So um, Melas is going to use his crosshairs to to make this uh, Ottoman uh, foot infantry from square, while uh, he is going to advance his two units. Actually, the game is, is not over yet. 
though um, Larium doesn't have a general, he can still make a good uh, defense over here. He will try to send his uh, light infantry, but these guys are very tired over these dudes, the Grangers, which they are also tired. The Corsairs are still alive, and Melas is gonna try to make him form square while these Ungarians are coming here to engage this uh, foot infantry. Joseph is still alive, and here we have uh, German Fusiliers. They came back into the game. That will be a good asset for Melas's uh, effort to kill the Ottoman units. These guys are very tired, so they're going to be efficient in uh, the charge. I'm not sure how Malas is doing up uh, with his ammunition. Oh, blood different result, and let's see. Probably these guys are out of ammo or not. I'm not sure, but they have a very bad position. They're going to get charged from this uh, running uh, Granger unit from the rear, and Ungarians, uh, they're shooting from the side. They're going to lose morale, and we have Joseph Alvinji, he's going to charge this uh, Nizams. Nice. Nice. So, that was the game. I hope you guys you all enjoyed it. It was a, a long game, but... I think it it's worth it. It was a good game. So, that was all folks. Thank you all for watching. Catch you later.